Hi, hello viewers. Welcome to Technology Scrum. Today we are going to see how to succeed in data science field. Let's go to the content. Okay, let's see what are the factors needed for succeed in data science field. First one is like self-learning. Nowadays you can learn data science uh, through self-learning itself because lot of uh, YouTube videos, Udemy courses and the course uh, like Udacity. So in that uh, learning platform you can pick up any good course on data science. Uh, data science means on machine learning or natural language processing or deep learning computer vision like that you can enroll into some courses and you can learn it yourself once you start learning uh, try to understand the, all the concept like uh, say for example in machine learning if you learned like three four algorithms try to understand the concept try to think like how you can implement those algorithm in real world okay maybe there might be some real world problem already exist try to connect that algorithm with your real world, real world problem and try to solve the problem use, using any one of the machine learning algorithm maybe you can use nlp also if you didn't understand machine learning nlp or deep learning you can watch our previous video a world in that we explain all the concept in uh, layman terms also once you start understanding the algorithms uh, then you need to think like how creatively you can create some ideas to implement those algorithms that is very important in data science then you need to practice all the algorithms using coding it can be python or r any language even uh, you can use uh, tensorflow framework framework or keras framework anything or pytorch framework also you can use those framework and practice for each and every algorithm and solve some problem you can even uh, refer kaggle also in kaggle people solve many problem uh, using machine learning algorithm and they also use python and uh, another important factor is even though you are technically very strong you understood all the concept how you are able to explain your uh, thinking and your ideas and your uh, on the problem whatever you solve to the other people that is very important this is very much needed when you go for interview so if you are able to uh, explain complex problem in very simple term like uh, anyone can understand then hiring manager also understand uh, how you resolve complex problem technically so that is very important uh, to get the job in data science so focus on uh, uh, on your presentation skill also how to present complex problem in uh, normal simple terms okay now let's see a few more uh, factors to succeed in data science uh, once you got some ideas in da and data science you can connect that idea with the people who are already expert in data science field or people who have authority to approve your ideas say for example uh, if you are uh, learning through some learning platform and you know some other data scientist expert connect with them and ask your idea is good or not okay if they say it is very good idea you can proceed if you are already working for some company and you can connect with the leadership team and you have some idea so connect with them and uh, ask, ask their feedback based on that you can proceed with your idea technically once you learned uh, many things in data science tr try to share your ideas with the many people so, okay it might be your friends or colleagues uh, anyone when the moment you start sharing your knowledge your knowledge will improve okay next one is like uh, you need to connect with the different expert in data science like you can connect with them through gaggle or you can connect with them through linkedin like that um, even through facebook also nowadays a lot of technical groups are there there also you can connect so uh, another important factor is like uh, continue learning nowadays technologies are changing rapidly even if you miss one day something uh, new might be released in any technology so you need to keep learning continuously whatever field it's not only for data science any field uh, nowadays you need to keep monitoring all new technology and keep up to date and uh, be positive say for example you attend like uh, three four interviews in data science in all interview you got failed but what you can do each failure you try to learn why you got failed what are the things you don't know okay note down all those steps and try to improve on that area and uh, keep uh, improve yourself and then try to attend new interview 
you may succeed you may get similar questions in future interview also that time you might succeed also and the last one is like uh, before you develop anything on data science it's a misleading model or something on nlp or something on deep learning or computer vision try to understand the domain say for example if you are working for some healthcare uh, uh, domain you need understanding of uh, you need a complete understanding of that healthcare domain similarly if you work for retail you need to have some uh, complete understanding on retail domain or you connect with the people who already have knowledge on those area like that it, it is applicable for many fields like uh, healthcare retail even uh, e-commerce like that uh, whatever field we, we, whichever field you are planning to work okay so next one is like um, you need to understand your data also the clear understanding of data will create a very good model so before you do start doing data analysis or feature engineering for machine learning model you need to have come proper understanding that you can connect with the people who are working as a data architect or a data lead or technical lead who are working on that particular field you can connect with them and get the full understanding on the data okay in case if you didn't understand machine learning you can watch our previous video on machine learning i hope uh, this video is useful for you in case if you like this video please like comment share subscribe thank you